Greetings fellow Ugandans. Once again let me introduce myself. My name is Chagulani Sentamu, Robert also known as Bobby Wine, also known as Musinguzi, also known as Obini, also known as Elakuna, also known as Mujuni, quite a number of names, also known as Arari. I thank you and I welcome you to this uh, communication. With me uh, is uh, the Deputy President in charge of Northern Uganda, Mama Lina Zedriga Waru, Doctor. Thank you for being here. Greetings me. and greetings, and I'm very excited very that good. we are here together to make sure that, you know, having a feel of the first leg of, of our campaign, the presidential campaign, with all the brutalities, but we are going to focus on the acts of the apostles. What are the milestones? I'm excited and very humble. Thank, Thank you, you Mama. And uh, of course, on my left hand side is uh, the Honorable Jolly Mujisha, Deputy President in charge of uh, Western Uganda. Mama, you're welcome. People power. Our, our power. power. People power. Our, our power. power. I greet you all in the name of people power. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you, uh, Deputy President. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to appreciate the massive, massive support that we have received all across the country, in every place we've stepped in. Um, we have covered um, 42 districts. Now, we should have covered more than 54 districts, but uh, as you are aware, we've been disrupted greatly by the regime. I would want to ask uh, Mama Zedriga to give us a brief of the northern part of Uganda. Maybe I would be even glad, we would be glad to hear that also in the local language as you finish. Please, you have the floor. Thank you so much. NUP everywhere. and everywhere. NUP in Arua, NUP in Gulu, NUP in Lira, NUP in Karamoja. NUP. Thank you so much for this space. My dearly beloved people in the struggle, today is a very critical day for us. Uh, at the NUP, uh, my, ours is to have a feel of where, how, who, for the last uh, how many days. We are happy that we started in Northern Uganda, in West Nile, in Pakwach. We went to Nebi, we went to Arua. Unfortunately, I just wish I could be celebrating the massive support, but I cannot support. I cannot celebrate this massive support without condemning the militarization. But I want to thank my president and the team on the ground, the team on the move for the resilience. It is unprecedented. In Pakwach, of course. We opened very successfully and we went heavy. I mean, this all the militarization. Arua was so massive. What I might take in Arua was that the people power overruled all of us. Of course, we were maliciously diverted, blocked, brutalized to access the venues, which our people on the ground in less than nine hours battled with the very malicious administration militarized the system of where we would be the final ground in Oli. but i congratulate you people for that resilience the focus the hope the faith even the road the, the place that was given at Oli, we were able to preside over militarization preside over intimidation, preside, and you delivered one of the best moments for us. You set the standard, and you actually invoked a saying that I usually like uh, when I'm training the alternative and transformative leaders, that when the world sits, that's what you told us in a ruin practice, when the world sits, you stand. When the world stands, you stand up. When the world stands up, be outstanding. When the world becomes outstanding, be the standard. And when the world becomes the standard, be outstanding and make it too high. And that is exactly what we did. 
and we need to continue to continue to scale up the, 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 the standards. One critical lesson we demystify the military. At by six o'clock, my president was our president was supposed to be at uh, at Olives, and he had been diverted in the rain. The people refused to move. Military was telling us, you know, they said we are not going to go until we hear because we know it is not by his mistake that he has been delayed to this extent in the rain. Our people in Arua fear rain, but this time they did not even fear rain. So I want to continue to say thank you, our Defoe Minangiri. My taking it that when people are resolved, which they are, military, no military barrels will disperse the people. They are telling us this in action. In fact, I was even at one time telling people now we should start uh, moving. They said, no, we are not going to move until we see and hear from the president. And this has continued. In Lira, in, in, in Oyam, when I was arrested actually before we went to Apache, the people actually came. The communities gathered immediately. Power of the communities this time. We are in charge of this. It is not the military. So for me, it is in action. It is very powerful. It is speaking to us. It is shaping us. Even when we were arrested with the team by military, waving sticks and guns, all men, the power of the presence of the communities that came, women carrying their babies on their backs, that is so powerful. And it has remained with me throughout. And of course, the teamwork. We need to be documenting this. We must stay resilient. We must stay on top of whatever. Nothing should come between us and our delivery of Uganda. We are now focusing on the vote protection because that is the messaging all of you are telling us. Please, how are you going to... Because even if now you don't come, Lina, and you are, we are going to vote. Nope. But are you going to protect? I have thrown that question back. Are we going to protect? Yes, we are going to protect our votes. And we are working towards making sure that, in fact, mapping all the loopholes and mapping all the polling stations. So we have left, actually, the campaign because it is a done deal. We are now focusing on vote protection, voter safety and security, away from rigging, away from buying, away from intimidation, away from the sticks, away from the military, away. We are saying we will deliver this vote. And we can do it, we are going to do it together. This time for the first time Ugandans have owned this process. They are not leaving it. They were not even telling us you shake the mangoes. No. You know the shaking the mangoes is about pay us. People do not actually want to hear about that. They have owned the process. And that is one thing Nope has given to the people of Uganda. Power to us. So, Northern Uganda, we set the trend. We, have, we are very excited about it. We are waiting the second round. And we are actually going to raise the bar even higher. This is not your struggle alone. This is our struggle. We want to thank everybody for that. And I think you have a look at this. I'm a dear world, I'm a West Nile, I'm a Baki de Ba, Oru, 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 Uganda, Oluzungua, Karamojo Asi, Buganda Asi, Marara Asi, Paolo Kina, a dear one in there, the bandanga, dear one in the co. Ani. A pade de ya school, a metikiti tualo, a metikiti uricoco, a metikiti ansi o posi, ansi o cassi, a metikiti ada, and wrote the anilua paratanico, and wrote the aletara Uganda ordinary in dread. We want to see the new Uganda delivered in practice. Our before, a poem a take, and please be on notice, we are back on track and we are coming to Arua. 
we are coming to Moyo, we are coming to Koboko, we are coming to Yumbe, we are going to reach everywhere, physically and also by our voice and represent representations, because you know time is now left very few, uh, very short towards the, 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 the elections. We totally want to be in every village, and we know and we believe by the representatives, people like Opingopi, people like Haddad, people like... Uh, uh, people like Victor and all the candidates, we know we are present and we know we await January 14th. Our default sorrow, Oriyo, 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 our default. A poem, my tech. A poem, your belly. Yeah. You motivate me, Dr. Alina Zedriga. When you were speaking here, my man ran back. And the sight came back to my eyes when you were behind the bars. But you are telling me, you go, don't slow down, you yes. keep moving. Yes, I was telling you, you have no business here. You are, you are, you are, you have actually lost. You are supposed yes. to be in a patch. The next and I'm glad you, so you, you humbly. I want you to know that you inspire me. Thank you me. inspire the girls of this country. You inspire Thank the people of Uganda. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, uh, let us. Oh, that was uh, the deputy president in charge of Northern Uganda, uh, Mama uh, Honorable John Mujisha, deputy president in charge of Western Uganda. Kindly welcome to floor and give us a brief of uh, Western Uganda. People power. Our power. People power. Our power. Thank you very much, my president. Um, I must say that the Western leg started the Western Leg started with the challenge uh, uh, because while we were originally supposed to start in Balara, in Chengura, in Sindh, Long Tungam, and Kundi, but that is when uh, the principal and the rest of the members were, were detained here in Kampala and we couldn't do that. So we started the following Monday with Chegegwa, and Chegegwa was a little bit very hard actually because there were a lot of hours. Our venue was changed in the morning and we were told to move to another venue and the rest of the supporters were in prison. Uh, however, as I always say, that when God has said yes, nobody can say no. Because this is God's struggle and He's doing it right in His own way. Uh, we proceeded to Chenjojo. In Georgia, the venue was also changed. Uh, they took us very, very far. Those of you who are conversant with the geograph of that place, there is a place called Utiti. But as God would always have it, um, there were people there at the playground of Utiti uh, Second uh, Teachers College. There were people there, and we, we thanked God. We proceeded to Fort Koto City. They also threw, threw us very far away from the people. They took us past Virka. Uh, those of you who know Virka very well, very far from from the from the town. Uh, we had a wonderful meeting there. People were in thousands along the way. But what was very annoying was the police. I I I, I really don't want to call it police because I have not seen real policemen uh, throwing tear gas throwing tear gas in the midst of people. People's homes are along these roads where we are, we are told to pass, but then... Um, okay. Now, people's homes, people live along these roads where we are told to pass, but you see the police mercilessly throwing tear gas in people's homes, they chase them away from their homes because they are just, some of them are just on the compound and they are watching people pass. But then people are brutalized in that manner. Uh, then the following day we had to go to, uh, to Wundubujo, we went to Wundubujo, we were denied entry into Wundubujo town, but we also had a wonderful meeting where they stopped us. Uh, in other words, what am I saying? that wherever we have been, it doesn't matter where they throw us, people will always find us there. In Ubunyangabu, it was very wonderful. It rained, but people braved the rain. And then, you know, we had a, a wonderful meeting, and it was only in Kasese that people were killed. We saw, we saw the, the, the army 
because that was not police. You could imagine that there was external aggression or external attack. Because the army that was in Kasese, you would think that Rwanda had attacked Uganda or Congo had attacked Uganda. Because there were very many of them, they blocked us, we couldn't move left to right. We stayed in the middle, people were so many, then they started shooting live bullets and killing people. Uh, we saw several uh, young people who were uh, hurt and uh, our, uh, our, our people had to take them to the hospital. Then we were denied access to the radio in Kasese, uh, but I know even when we were denied that uh, our people uh, know what is taking place. The following day we had to go back to, uh, through Fort Potro to, 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 to Kagadi. Kagadi is in Hoima, we went to Hoima through Kagadi. Uh, then from Kagadi we went to Hoima and there was too much tear gas in, in Hoima. There was too much tear gas in, in Burisa. They stopped us from accessing the field where we had booked. They stopped us from accessing the field where we had booked in Burisa. But thank God, as I've said before, people were there waiting for us. Then on our way back from, from Burisa, we had to go to Chiriandongo through Masindi. In Masindi, we had booked Boma Ground and we were denied access to Boma Ground in, Kases, in Masindi. Uh, people turned up, there were so many along the roads, but of course there were rough bullets, tear gas, and there was even one young man who was knocked by a police van, a, a police vehicle in Masindi. We proceeded to Chiriandongo, and Chiriandongo was the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Chiriandongo was very, very good, and I personally talked to the man who was commanding the, the police. I told him, you have been today. In fact, I told him, you know what? You are going to be our IGP when we <laughs> take over power, yes. So Chigandongo was good, but we had now to proceed to uh, Chenkwanzi. And when we reached a place called Mijera, it was already late, it was time for curfew. We thought that we would put up there and then in the morning proceed to the other place. However, uh, the police denied us entry into the place. We had booked the hotel, which they stopped us from entering. There was this young man who was there who was telling us that. You, in fact, he said it in Urinyanku, you cannot sleep in this place. So I, uh, we, we suffered, we ate a lot of tear gas that day, and I, I want to assure you that uh, where God has said yes, nobody can say no. We slept outside the whole night, but in the morning we had to proceed to Chenkwanzi. I have one point to make here, uh, to say that in Uganda, those days long time ago, Uganda used to have inland flights inland flights. I asked the policeman who was stopping us from passing through Masindi, because we previously wanted to pass through Masindi or Hoima in order to access uh, Chenkwanzi. But they said, you can't pass here. Then I asked them, if, if you didn't want us to use roads, why didn't you, why did your government, why did your government kill all those facilities that were there a long time ago? Because if there had been an aeroplane, uh, we would fly and get to Chankwanzi. But because we had to use roads, we had denied using roads, we had denied using, I don't know what else they want us to use. So, however, uh, the, 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 the following day, uh, the principal and the team went to Chankwanzi. I was not able to read to Chankwanzi, but uh, uh, there is one big problem, and I want to point it out today, that this government, they are like what we normally say in Urinyankore. They, they want elections to take place. They don't want campaign to take place. They don't want people to access the people, but they want people to vote. Now, how can somebody vote a person whom they have never seen? Because I, I think the whole idea of creating a scientific campaign was in the interest of government to deny other competitors time 
and people so that they would actually vote the people they have always known. But fortunately, when God has said yes, nobody can say no. That's why we are able, even where they throw us off the population, people still come to see their candidate. I want to thank all, all those people in Western Uganda, all of you who have been in support with us, and all Ugandans at large, that you have been able to support us. And I pray that you continue to support us, and I pray, because now is time for change. It is now or never. Get up, Ugandans. The, the person who is stopping others from accessing people is not only punishing the person who is contesting, but is punishing Ugandans, because it is your right as Ugandans to look at your candidates, to hear your candidates, to talk to your candidates, and then be able to make a right decision. So I want to encourage all of you that despite tear gas, by the way, this tear gas I think is expired, because the kind they gave us in Masindi, in Mijere, in, in Mijera, I think it, I have actually been sick for the last three days. But don't worry, it doesn't kill. You, you can take bits of it as long as you are interested in change, as long as you want change in this country, brave it. Because power is not given, power is not given on a silver platter, power is taken. And we can only take it through suffering. So, ladies and gentlemen, get up. If you hear wherever our candidate is, please try to go there. The law says that we take 200 people, and of course, as you very well know, that is impossible. That's not campaign. I mean, we don't even know the people out there whom we should give cards to make 200 people. But you stand by the road. The principal will be there to wave to you, and you'll hear from him, like in this manner we are doing. So I thank you very much for the support continue to support us, and as sure as I am talking to you this evening, we shall win this election, because it, it is self-explanatory anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mama. Talk with Gambo Shomuru Nyankole. Abantu abokuri riza ori nyachitara, nienda kubanza kubasima, habuga support ningashi obu hajizobu tuine omu western Uganda. Na nguwana mnonga, omuri mbarara, omuri churuhura, ahomzeya, rukurga, na haseri yeye, omuri nshwere, ahakurga, obu hajistubini. Nyenda kubahere zamani, kujira mgumize mwamani, mjirobu hajizi, ahagokuwa, okubazibira, okutuzibiri tuwe na kandidetu wetu kushikomi ya nyayanyu, echwe tuchiku ija kubeiha, principal ningashi candidate to umwe no mu mitwe yanyu kumushangura mu ateke ni chishana na uko ku umuntu ari kwangisa mu nyanyu wawe akateka teka ngo yatagure bara yakwandikire nare chishane cha kutwekeire akakitagura akateka teka ngo wa mu rugo mutu mwe ningira ngo abantu mwena abokuru rwo mu muyimuke tuhagire cyagurani ahagwe kuba nuwe nuwe eshurensia he's the new a new figure is the new line that is good for this country. When we are in the middle of the gas, the gas is very quiet. In fact, the number of the designs, the number of the cocktail, the gas is not going to be able to do it. The number of 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 na bwe cyo mutatina ejo ni intimidation mutagira ubwoba uko no kubatina tinsa abo kuba yuganda yimo kwenda ni to niyo twenda ni yabanya yuganda bashemirire ku bantu batura mu yuganda eyine bintu nimba ni ngambira abantu noreba ekizubu cya yuganda no kugira ngo tukukwandika history no butashomana history nimba ni ngambira abanya yuganda ntereba ntunumanya ngo yuganda ekabegire gari yo mwika erga kasese eza papwachi Mtu numanyangu Uganda ekaweji renyo nyi za booing. Uganda airline, the care company, the yawe gaya mani. Uganda ekeji la za bus, bus company. Konkevi ntu biona government ekabikwata ya vituara, ya vituara wayo, ya vituweche reza, the run to tour rahumpa. Mwene njira, mtuwa yenzile Ugandans. Uganda ne tandika kutandika ni mtuwe. 
it must begin with you, then it moves to the next person. When we muche, chege guatu kajira okwatwa za za kagadi tuwa tu zibira na ngwa kagadi kabonera kongaza abundu bujo ba tu zibira kuika chai za hoi maba tu chingira na tuwa gumaru agatin tu nyati ya gasi konga koko kongu baga mbira ahi mukama teiro mukonobwe mtuwa mtuza kutungo bhadis ana no singus injira koko tuwa muesere o o o wechiti inasatu kamwe teri ya musinguzi itu nkaba nyankore mui muche tu hajire musinguzi dero tu jiro musinguzi aba konjo bakamwe tamujuni umuntu mujuni naba nakujune kizwe choyine gwe no mureke twagire mujuni dero tugira ubusinguzi mu western region twagira arari dero arari atusya habirungi ebyo biturukwendo mu Uganda yitumwe bare munonga thank you thank you very much honorable John Mujisha uh, ladies and gentlemen we continue to thank you indeed it has been massive i celebrate you two powerful ladies of course, we salute uh, our two other deputy presidents, the Honorable John Baptist Nabeshe and the Honorable Matthias Mpuga. Now, indeed, just to reiterate their communication, it has been massive. Wherever it has, we have been, it has been massive, massive, massive. We thank all Ugandans for the support and love and the welcome. And I must reassert this, that this is a homegrown cause. Ours is a Ugandan cause. Forget what President Museveni continues saying that we are funded by foreigners. We are not funded by foreigners. We are not even funded. We are supported by Ugandans living here and abroad. And it's on this note that I want to thank the Ugandans in the diaspora. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for taking a risk with us. We know fighting a dictatorship is a risk. But thank you for believing in us. We can only promise you our unrelenting commitment to this cause, we are definitely removing a dictator. I must also uh, appreciate the people that work with our teams, the people that have been working with uh, Dr. Lina Zedriga, the people that have been working with uh, the Honorable John Mutisha, uh, the friends, the, the advanced teams, the activists that are risking it with us every day, that are getting beaten. Friends, you are the real revolutionaries. Um, I want to condemn in the strongest terms the violence, the violence that was unleashed by the regime. You see, the Museveni regime has always prided in violence. They even call themselves the masters of violence. And indeed, they try as much as possible to send so much fear in the hearts of the Ugandans. When they illegally arrested me <coughs> in Luuka, people protested. But as President Museveni said it recently when he was in Karamoja, Mr. Museveni, once again, you conceded to ordering the military to kill unarmed civilians, just like he conceded to the fact that he's the one that I ordered for the murder of Yasin Kauma and my own murder, only that God saved my life. President Museveni just conceded. He said he heard that there were protests, but he knew that he would send the army to sort them out, and indeed, he sent the army to sort them out. Some of the soldiers were in uniform, while others were not in uniform, as we all saw. And they killed, to the estimate of a hundred unarmed civilians, young men and women, murdered in cold blood by the people that are paid to protect them. I was in Luero yesterday, and I met a, a, a lady and a gentleman. These people were my age, and they were crying because a police officer, apparently the DPC of Luero, a one to Kundane was reported to have shot their 14 year old son. His name was Arnold Walusimbi. That is one of the many people that get killed. A few of them we get to know, the likes of uh, Yasin Kauma, the likes of uh, Dan Chene, the likes of Rita uh, Nabukenya, and all. But we condemn the murder of innocent civilians, and we tell you, people that are holding guns, that you better behave well because you are not going to be in those positions forever. We continue to call upon Ugandans that have lost um, loved ones to the state-inspired murder. We are compiling a report and be sure that justice will take its course. We also call upon the friends out there to reach out to us so we can see how best to connect, how best to reach out to the people that are in need of uh, especially legal assistance. 
we must work together to protect each other from this brutal dictatorship that is determined to take the lives of innocent civilians in cold blood. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to reiterate that ours is a message of freedom. Ours is a message of redemption. Ours is a message of putting people, the people of Uganda, ahead of those that hold guns. These people that hold guns are supposed to be civil servants. Even the president is supposed to be a civil servant. And again, we have said it once uh, time and again, that we are non-violent. We are disciplined people. We are law-abiding citizens. It has been the effort of the regime to project us as violence so that they can be able to unleash violence towards us since it's the only thing they know. President Museveni cannot argue with us. President Museveni cannot make any point. He cannot explain his failed 35 years of administering Uganda. Now what they do is tell lies. Either they will say that we are being funded by foreigners to demand for our freedom and equal rights and justice, or they will call us tribalists. So it's on there that note that I also want to take time to condemn tribalism, the, tribal, the reverse tribalism that is being practiced by President Museveni. I've said it time and again that we have moved in all parts of Uganda, but the police commanders and their DPCs are all coming from the same area. And we have been saying that we should be projecting a national character, a national image in all institutions of state. So it makes the Museven regime really look ugly if all police commanders, all military commanders, all DPCs are actually coming from the same region. This person called Museveni therefore loses all moral authority to talk about tribalism because he is actually practicing tribalism and he is um, oppressing the people that are condemning tribalism. So we continue to condemn tribalism, we continue to, to, to condemn tribal talk, we continue to condemn segregation in our country, Uganda. The reason why they call us the National Unity Platform is that we believe in national unity. We believe in being a country that offers equal opportunity and equal rights to all Ugandans. We understand that uh, people have been besieged. The nation has been besieged. Recently, when we were uh, in Luero, actually yesterday, we reached the town and it was like a ghost town. And we learned that the military and the police had been moving with loudspeakers the previous night, announcing a daytime curfew in Nakasongola, in Luero, and in Nakaseke. And indeed, when we reached those towns, we found them like army garrisons, mean-looking military men wielding AK-47s, beating up people and forcing them to close their businesses on a Monday, beating up citizens and forcing them out of town, forcing them to lock themselves in the houses on a Monday, daytime, 11 o'clock, Midnight. It was, yes, it was a Saturday. Mm. So it is really, 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 really appalling to see the national military behaving like this. We were also informed that border border riders were actually warned that anybody who would be caught riding a border border, it would be confiscated and they would have to come up with half a million shillings to get their border borders back. But to the people of Luero, the people of Nakaseke, Nak Nak the people of Nakasongola, and indeed the Greater Alwero Triangle, we salute you for your resolve. We salute you for your bravery. You walked almost 10 miles away from Luero town to come in huge, huge numbers to come and listen to our message of liberation. We don't take that for granted. You continue to communicate back to us that indeed what we've been telling you all along, it sank. You continue to prove to us that we are not wrong. You continue to prove to us that we are not alone. We are all in the same struggle. Thank you for embracing this struggle. Thank you for giving us confidence. Now, um, before I even uh, update you on our next move, I want to once again take this opportunity to tell the people of Uganda that the reason why we are seeking office 
it's not just to be president. It's not just to remove President Museveni. We have experienced leaders, just like the ones sitting here with me, and the ones that are out there, many of them are in the public line, and many of them are not. Our agenda, in brief, is a people-centered government. It's a government that serves the people. It is servant leadership that we are looking at. For the first time, we want to empower Ugandans to make their voices reign supreme, to make them own their country, to make them the owners of Uganda, and yes, to reduce the leaders to servants, because that is what the law says. All power belongs to the people. So the people of Uganda should be the bosses, and their leaders should be the servants, but not the other way around. Not a situation where a president like uh, Museven will come and say, I am not your servant. So that is number one on our agenda. And if you vote for me, if you vote for us as a national unity platform, you will be getting servants as leaders, not bosses as leaders. Secondly, we want to ensure equal access to quality education and quality health care. This is why we have a wide program for our education system for is ETC. We have a wide program for our healthcare system, which has been planned not only in Uganda, but uh, it was confirmed by the Maputo, the Maputo Protocol and confirmed by the Abuja Declaration that at least 15% will go to our healthcare and then ensure that we supervise and we supervise it, not uh, take the shame of having 18 women die every day, giving birth not having to take the shame of more than 300 children dying every day, that we can do, that we will do. And number three, we want an inclusive economic development. Not this business of President Museven coming to TV and talking about the GDP, talking about economic development, which is not translating down to the common person. This is only for the few, those rich and mighty, the powerful, the ones that hold power, we want all economic development to be owned by Ugandans, have Uganda for Ugandans. Um, number four, we are passionate about land, how it's being grabbed and how it can be protected, how it is being misused and how it can be best used. We are passionate about natural resources. The people of Uganda should own the natural resources of Uganda. The natural resources of Uganda should belong to the people of Uganda and should be to their benefit. Not this business of President Museveni say coming and shamelessly, shamelessly saying, my oil. Not this business of being that the first family is the one that runs gold. I was in, uh, uh, no, in Cassandra, actually. I was in Cassandra. And I learned that President Museveni's brother, Sodo, has actually taken over the mines of the people of that place, reducing them to slaves in their own country. That must stop. That will stop. And uh, of course, we want to improve our environment. We want to be a leadership that will focus on environmental protection. We are becoming a desert at the hands of our leaders. It is those in powerful positions that are leading the deforestation we want to ensure, and I've said it before, I even said it on the previous rallies, that in my first year as president, I want to ensure that we have five million trees planted. By who? By the soldiers. Mm -hmm. We pay our soldiers, we promise to pay, to raise the payment of our police officers at least one million shillings, the first payment of the police officer. What do we expect from them? not to beat or tear gas the citizens, but to ensure that they protect and serve the citizens, to defend and uphold the rights of the citizens of Uganda. Um, secondly, the military. We want to pay them well, because these are the men and women that honorably are guarding our country, or are supposed to be guarding our country. So after paying them well, what do we expect? I intend to see that the military is put to better and respectable use. We want the military to plant five million trees in the first year of the Chagulani presidency, in the first year of the National Unity Platform Administration. 
and uh, number five, we want to promote national security and international relations. We want to ensure that our security is in bond. You see, we've been taught in the past that peace is not only the absence of war, it is the presence of justice and of course freedom. People cannot have peace when there's no justice. So we want to ensure that there is justice. We want to ensure that we unite our deeply divided country. When there's no tribalism, when there's no sectarianism, when there's no injustice, you can almost be sure that there will be national security. And of course we want to improve the international relations. Under our government, you're not going to find Uganda on loggerheads with sister countries. You're not going to find us closing borders or having borders closed on us because we shall respect the relationships that we share. It will not be about the president or the leader. It will be about the people of both these countries. Now, uh, of course, we will encourage the same thing that the government does. When the government is promoting our harmony, we shall translate the same to the ordinary Ugandans. When the military is planting trees, we shall translate and promote the same with the school children, with the ordinary Ugandans, and with the various community organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I must salute you again for giving us the support, for standing with us, and for giving as much support as you can. As I say, we entirely depend on Ugandans here in Uganda and abroad. I want to salute the young men and women in the diaspora and the leadership of the diaspora. The young men and women in the United States of America working ordinary jobs, but again, sending their hard-earned money back home to support us. We want to salute the young men and women in Europe in uh, Arab countries, many of them work through unbearable conditions, but they still send back home their hard-earned money to support us in this cause. And that is why we continue to take a pledge with you, ladies and gentlemen, that all we can do is be as committed as possible. We continue to appeal to you for more assistance. Uh, I want to read to you the mobile money number that uh, supports that, that uh, the mobile money numbers, sorry, because there are more than one, uh, where you can render your support on. Uh, the first is an Airtel number, which is 0706949488. It is 0706949488. It is in the names of Sarah. Um, another Airtel number is 0703. Uh, 636363. Six, three, six, three. Once again, I read it. It is 0703636363. Uh, that is in the name of uh, Daniel Oyerot. And the third one is uh, an MTN number, which is 0787336363. Uh, it is 0787336363. 6363, three. it is in the names of Daniel Brenny or your road. We continue to thank you for that. And maybe I'll give you um, our online platform. It is www.peoplepower.org.ug slash donate. Um, allow me, before we sign out, um, to update you on our next programs. Our next programs tomorrow we are coming to Wikikwe, we are coming to Rugazi, we are coming to Mukono, and uh, then later we'll be coming to Kayunga, we'll be coming to Jinja, we'll be coming to Kamoli, uh, that will be on Monday. On Tuesday, we'll be coming to Namotumba, we'll be coming to Kaliro, and we'll be coming to Palisa, and all other parts of Uganda, we will be joining you. Um, Tube Bazanyo, Oktua Gira Mikwano Jange, Tube Bazanyo, Ours, like I said, is a national cause. We do not want to be one. 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 We do not
you strike a woman, you strike a rock. Ozizamu Nyama Nyimama, the Honorable Jolly Mujisha, Deputy President in charge of Western Uganda. Mweba lenyo kutuwa gira, mweba lenyo kutuwa gara. Tuja kubanga tubatege zaga, tukomao, will be every now and then coming to address you, to update you. You know we are blocked from mainstream media. Um, in Masind, in uh, Hoima, we are not allowed to talk to you. In uh, Kasese, who are blocked from uh, talking to or, or talking on the radio station. In uh, Hoima, to Sudan, said we had even paid money. And we are even constantly blocked from even reaching out to you. So we will try as much as possible to use social media. And we request you, friends on social media, to try as much as possible to share our message. Right now, as I speak, President Museveni is, has dominated all mainstream media. He has literally ordered all media to broadcast his speech, to broadcast his lies, to broadcast his contradictions. It is only social media that we can use to reach out to you and we request you, if you believe in the message that we send to you, to also push the message further so that ultimately we achieve our liberation together as a nation. We thank you for God and our country. Uh, Mama, Dr. Alina Zedriga, kindly thank our people and don't forget to thank them in the local language, our default. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much, the team. Thank you so much, the, those that are here present with us to ensure that we reach out to the world. Teamwork multiplies the results. Thank you, our Secretary General. Thank you, the food soldiers. Many of you are still in jail. Many of you are still prisoners of conscience. Ours is a message to liberate ourselves. We cannot thank you enough. Let us continue together. And especially today, for the Christians, it is the first Sunday of Lent. And the message today is about the closeness of the times. Let us remain awake. Let us remain alert. And let us continue to pray and be focused and await. And await the delivery of a new Uganda. It is very, very important. The delivery of a new Uganda is for all of us Ugandans. It is for all of us. So, I like it, we like it, we like the signs, the energies, not even the prison, not even the military, not even the tear gas, not even the whatever. We have demystified it. We are walking with our heads high, with our hearts. We cannot be bought, we cannot be intimidated. Voting day! Polling day! We are going to sleep in the polling stations. We have prepared different units and brigades. The Red Termites, the Red Brigade, the Red Command. And the red is a powerful color of martyrdom, of delivering freedom, of delivering a new promise of moving with the acts of the apostles to the land of revelations. And for sure, time is on our side, the Lord is on our side, and you people from Karamoja, from where I saw you in prison smiling and very happy. When I see that spirit is not broken, the prison, the intimidation, the militarization just renews it. And even you, Mr. President, you are very renewed. Thank you so much. You are leading by example. So I want to thank all of you. We continue to rewrite the good, inclusive, powerful, liberating history of a new Uganda. Thank you. Weba lenyo, weba liredala. Apoyo matek, the team in Gulu, the team in Kitgumbe, everywhere. Apoyo matek, asante sana, weba le munonga, alakara noi. Our seven, our four, our five. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. You see, when you're communicating, I also get captivated as well. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, very briefly, Mama, 
uh, please uh, send, uh, give a vote of thanks as we conclude. And My don't forget to communicate it also oh. in Runyachitara. I could begin with Runyachitara. Yes. Nyenda ku manisaba nya Uganda mwena. Ahimu mwena, abu kumpuro mburu rinyorun kugamba ho, kujirangu struggle je iturumu, to struggle ye bie nganda. Mkoku government erihone ejeza ho, kujirangu erihone erwanu saba nyankore, infakti aba mpabinji, babi nubaja, ee mkubishi, abu nchi no mzomu baganda, baganda nubaza kutubi inga kampana. Eji struggle tiye bie nganda, eji struggle tiye bie nganda, kancho njere mumu rundo guundi. Struggle ne yaba nya Uganda, buru mnya Uganda, uru kuenda kuzomu Uganda nsia, ayimuke a joining a struggle eji. Ahaboku batu waba tuena rahangaka tukwara enzemwe ya tukwara wanya Uganda. Na abuwecho muimuche, turwane riha angagitu, turwane robu gabibu itu, ahaboku bati ya gas kwe kutere, te kutora, te kutora na mumu ganda, te kutora na mumu nya dino wendiju. Tuena turigaba antubamwe, tuinesha gamemwe, interest zitu nkawa nya Uganda, human rights nizumwe, na mwene ntangeire, kuria ahari mjere. Ama duka ba ntukubazi vira ngu mtakoro mduka, mtaguza na ba ntecho kuno anyo necho kuria yuwa ine hotere business ya uria kapuchinga. Mwene njangu mwena muimuche, turwane riha ngage itu, turwane robu gabe weitu, turwane re abana weitu. Aha woku ba eji speed itu rohotu wajigu mamu, ihangani reza kuchweche romuru ndukumu. Kande chindi, mbajira, ngu ovururu, Oburuuru bwe tuwa butunjire, oburuuru tuwa butunjire, wakawe nkomu ntu na koko onje service. Mwene hati njira nguwa hizo wari okitere oburuuru. Noreba eviroba tehi eviro viche. Hati owechiti ni sa presidenti. Haka wankori yomu shejo wumu nyankori. Haba shejo wa karaba wa nyankori. Kuya vira yenda kuima vande nyamu. Haku jira tota jibadu, atota josi, atota jitek, atu konkanyi yendo mchuzi. Mwene hati iwe. Otajibaga, otajiteka, otajosi ya kukani yendo mchuzi. Otazo mkaruru, otagambera radio, radio kutukuza yoba tuvinga, otaza TV, otara bo mcharo, hati yoburu kukani yendo mchuzi. Mwe ninjera, mwe ibarele tude kuchere, turupi terafuka. Hatu tu mmanyiri, ni mwe muamu manyiri. Mwe na no mumanya, mwe na mwe mcha hizo vario kutera karuru, mjende mutera karuru, kandora heze kutera karuru. Agume huwa mwanyo huo, alunzera karuru. Abo kubata kitiksi zeza karuru, tuena tutuile ntuzumanyi. Tuka ntuzumanyi, abo kubata tuka ntuzikora mu. Mbwene njera, nguwa hizo verio, mwimuche, mjera mani, buryo mwa gambiro mwanawe, mwana wa gambiro mzeirewe, abo kubata itwe, abo kuzire, turiyo nturuga mu, we are moving out of this country soon. Kwa nka imwaba anaweitu, mchine dinji, emiaka minjo mwuzi. Mbwene buru mzeire, agambiro mwanawe. Burumwana agambiru mzairu. Umunyavuzare agambiru mtahi. Derobu hanyuma tuje tujiriha angaru unji. Umukoku banza mjenuwani. Kandi president wanje yabara ganisi. Evi intubiyo na. Ntusaku banko oriyo umbeibuli. Awgenta ama eruku biyama ne mpono mpono eka biyama ne chunchu. Uganda ne zakuterera. Avoku bama shomero ngaza garka mtindo. Avoku bama ruwaro ngaza garka mtindo. Evi awere chelide biyona. Cooperative societies zitu za afire na za kuyimuka ama takaganyu nkaba nyankore kweta na ranchi yomu ntomwe ya yetu wa rirekando wa ya vire ranchi yama nyankore Evi viona ni viza garuka omu nteko dirubu wa nyuma Uganda yitu jendo mnishu Nyenda kubara kubasi ibra nukubajira ngu People power niche manisa ama nugavantu Mweni mwama nuganyu nugo gararete obshovoro zomu Uganda Finally, in English, I want to say thank you very much. Uh, thank you for supporting us. Um, and we encourage you to continue supporting us. Uh, and that when you support us, you are not only supporting him to go to the presidency, but you are supporting your child. You are supporting your family's future. You are supporting the future of all Ugandans. Because we all are craving for a good Uganda where there is equality, where there is the freedom of speech, where there is freedom of interaction, where there is no dominance. Because uh, I, I get surprised really when I, I find people saying that this is a tribal struggle because like my president has rightly said, wherever you go, actually it's not only the police, but there are these young 
Torish, dark young men who are, who are commanding the police. They are not in police uniform. Wherever we have been, there is this mysterious Torish young man who is, who is mm -hmm. commanding the police. In fact, I've been asking them that for you, uh, you are here, you are telling the police, but you are not even in uniform. Who are you? So we want a Uganda where institutions work, where no young men come and start instructing police generals. Uh, generals have no say in whatever they are supposed to do. They are, they, are, they are being pushed by these young men. There was a young man I saw in Mjera who was saying, you are not going to sleep in this hotel. Then I said, you know what? It seems the hotel belongs to you after all. You can stop us from sleeping here. But you should not stop people from selling us food because they even stopped the people who were selling food. So I want to say that Ugandans, we need a free Uganda, a Uganda where we can all live happily because Uganda belongs to us, for God and my country. I thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much, Mama Jolie. I am very, very happy that you pointed out those people, those young people who are always not in police uniform but welding guns and they're the ones giving orders to the RPCs, to the DPCs that paints further how much the Museven regime has weakened our institutions. It is only one family giving orders around in uh, uh, Kapeka yesterday. Um, I was told that Salim Salim's daughter was the one ordering soldiers to remove our posters and uh, beat people around. That is wrong. We believe that Uganda should be for all Ugandans and institutions should work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we conclude, I want to once again send our heartfelt condolences to the bereaved families. It is very unfortunate that those people were killed. I want to tell you once again that your children were killed on the orders of General Yoweri Kabuta Museven. He said it yesterday, and we are very happy that words escape him. Otherwise, if he was still the other Museveni who was still in control of himself, he would still be able to lie about. But now, even biology cannot allow him lying. <laughs> he will find out, he will find himself letting the truth out. He said that he gave orders to the military to sort them out, and indeed he sorted them out. Um, it's only appalling to see that even tonight in his communication, President Museveni said that uh, those people were rioters. Uh, actually, um, he talked about compensation. He talked about compensating parents for the murder of their young children. I don't know what you're going to compensate to this young lady who had her son in, uh, at, at age 15, who has suffered with her son, brought her up, and she's looking up, she's looking forward to a new Uganda, and you murder her son, and you say you're going to compensate her, just like you sent Catherine Kusasira to pay the parents of uh, the late Yasin Kaoma after your people killed him deliberately. That is wrong. We don't want to be killed and our families paid. We want to live and be, have a chance to be in our 80s like you. We want to see Uganda in 2050. We want to be alive, Mr. President. We don't want to die. The parents don't want to see their children die so that you compensate them. They want their children to live and they must live. You must respect Uganda's children like you respect your children. We are all Ugandans and we have a right to life. Of course, I want to condemn the double standards as well. As President Museveni is so aware that uh, the NRM politicians are gathering around towns, as he pays people to put on yellow uniform and go to towns, he is blocking us from accessing towns. You are blocking us from even using the main roads. That is our money that made those roads. That is not your money. Those are not your roads. Those roads belong to us as Ugandans. And we have the same rights as you have, Mr. President. Please respect the law. Please act like the president that you promised you will be. And finally, I want to tell President Museveni and all his angers on that we shall not give up. I say it again, we shall not give up. We are going to fight for our freedom. We want justice, okay? And we are going to get that justice. I want to call upon all Ugandans to come up in large numbers and vote. 
if you did not have the reason to vote, at least make this reason to vote. Please come out and vote as a protest. Please come out and vote to pay for the lives of these children. We don't fight violence with violence. We are going to use our most, most potent weapon, and that is our vote. So please come out and vote. If you have a sick person or an elderly person, encourage them or help them to access the polling stations. Come out and vote. I will be on the ballot paper uh, under my name, Chagulani Center Robert, with the symbol of an umbrella. And please vote for all national unity platform candidates on the 14th of January. After voting, don't leave the polling station. Make sure you got our vote. We are winning, friends. We are winning. Museveni is on his way out. And so, let us keep pushing hard. All signs show. All signs show. This is a person that used to convince people. He used to use the word siyasa. He does not use it anymore. He used to call Luweru Triangle his maker. You saw what happened, what the people of Luweru were saying. So, we call upon you, President Museveni, to respect the voices of the people of Uganda. You have a chance to keep your legacy and mend it. But again, you have a chance to end up like Gaddafi or Mugabe or all these dictators that have come before you. The choice is yours, grandfather. We respect you and we would rather that you also respect that position that you're holding. And very finally, I want to encourage all our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, please continue taking part in the diaspora activities. Come out, because your countries are not as brutal as ours. Show solidarity with the people of Uganda. Take part in the fundraising activities. Take part in the Zoom interactions. Together, we can liberate Uganda. Thank you, Mama Lina Zedriga, the doctor. I thank you, the Honorable Joli Mujisha. I thank you, the people of Uganda, for God and our country. When the struggle is over, we shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown. We shall wear the victor's crown. When the struggle is over, we shall wear the victor's crown. In the new Uganda. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. NUP. Everywhere. Everywhere. NUP. Bonga call. Bonga call. Bonga call. Cheers, Ugandans. Thank you. Cheers.